We interrupt our program to bring you this important message. Hotep, I am that I am. Some call me Haru, your moderate monk, your cannabis fitness strategist. Back at it again, here with you, here for you, here to enlighten, here to allow you to take the time to think, take the time to critically think and reevaluate your situation, your purpose, who you are, and what you're about. Welcome again to another episode, episode 140. That's one four zero reevaluation, or in other terms, reflection. Many of you know me, or many of you strive to understand me if that's the case, even though I do care, but I don't care <laughs> what you think, what you call me, whatever the case may be, but at the same time, I have pride, I have confidence. I have courage. I have taken more responsibility, more accountability for my actions, what I do, how I get down, and how I relate to others. Those of you who are in the positive, and as well as those of you who are in the negative, like I said, haters, that's part of moving forward. Now, I want to get in this subject a little bit more deeper reevaluation. Now we know the new year is coming. <clears throat> 2023. The last past couple of years have been very interesting with the COVID scenario, certain situations like that. Being in another state, understanding the 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 society, how society actually think, the psychology of what society has been able to comprehend or put to action. Now, I know a lot of you out there are thinking, what is this brother talking about? So I'm going to get a little deeper into a couple of the subject matters that I've been writing about on my blog site, and that's youarethegymlive.com. My blog site is right there, right there for your hands, for your giving. And usually it's a little two minute, two minute to three minute blog that I talk about or write about, even though I want you to start opening your mind, opening your pineal gland, opening the your consciousness and your subconsciousness to start really thinking about even reading, <laughs> writing, arithmetic, you know, adding more value, learning, you know, adding value to who you are becoming. Because that's what the test is all about here in this dimension, as we know as Gaia, Mother Earth, and many other names that we can go into. I would say I'm not a religious brother, but I am a spiritual brother. And I tend to ask the universe to open up, to seek, to add vision of the third eye of the subconscious of the conscious of the psychoanalysis as we do on each and every day as I reflect upon my life how to better my finances how to better my body how to better my communication my relationships my understanding my loving urges right a lot of us don't take the time to reevaluate, to analyze our lives. I put myself in a mindset where I'm a holistic coach, right? I'm a holistic practitioner. And one of the things I've been a very big turnoff has been the, the obviously the fitness and health industries have been very bipolar I guess especially when it comes to like certain medicines certain herbs certain remedies that we 
regenerative medicine and many other different forms of adding value or taking value from the body, right? Therefore, we have the results of mood swings, anxiety, um, many other particular elements, PTSD, and many other forms, right? When you, t- when you think about it, when you think about the drama, the trauma of what we, <laughs> how we navigate upon this planet, upon this dimension, right? Because I think we tend to come back. I think we have been here. And I, I've been explaining this, you know, reincarnation. I think we do reincarnate because it's a mentality you come here and obviously you pick. You pick the circumstances. You pick the lessons that you have given yourself upon entering this dimension. Now, I do offer a 20-minute free discovery session with those of you who are interested in adding value or becoming the best version of yourself. Yes, I'm far from perfection but why not strive to be perfect right with the propaganda with all the tools that it or all the tools that are for you and all the tools that are against you it's about making a logic or understandable choice right it's about choices it's really about choices i don't i don't know how people really don't Take the time to really discipline themselves, right? To really see how we self-sabotage ourselves by not taking the time to reevaluate, to understand ourselves, right? Know thyself, understand thyself, live with thyself. And if those things are certain habits that you have created over the years or over the last couple of months are not doing any good for you or bringing in greater results therefore it's time for a change brothers and sisters it's definitely time for a change well we will definitely because it's more of a ethical value morals personality and being able to move forward without contemplating always on the past what happened to me in the past is the past my brothers and sisters If we look at history, we know that the winters or the winners are the writers of his story, right? Or some story. I'm writing a book currently right now and I'm going to be releasing it in March. March is the goal. March 2023. Confessions of the Mind of an Athlete. Where I'm actually going more in detail in certain subject matters that I think the subject matters we kind of ignore because they're principles. That's the thing. The principles and principles really don't change when you look at it. I mean, uh, Navelle Gardner, Gardner, um, Joseph Murphy, you know, M- Martin Luther King, Malcolm X, Gandhi. All the subject matters these brothers have been talking about, it hasn't changed. The principles have not changed, brothers and sisters. This is the thing that I think people don't really realize, but at the same time, how effective it is in your life, your daily life. Even with your children, think about it, even with your children, you want to be the best example you can be, brothers and sisters, in the army. <laughs> But think about it. We tend to forget about the mentors, right? Who are our mentors? Who do we look up to? (laughs) That's funny. But how can we learn from these particular entities, sovereign brothers and sisters, right? Other sovereign or souls that exist within this existence that are great examples Not everything and all are compensated within that particular person. That's the whole point of mentors, right? Utilizing something that works that you see that is effective for you to navigate 
in a positive direction to take it to the next level, right? For you, for you and only you. That's the thing too. You got to do what you got to do to better, to become better, to become more valuable. That know, to know that you're worth whatever number that may be. Mine is infinite. I'm worth so much money. It ain't even the money case. It's the, uh, the concept of the idealization. You know, I tend to put myself in. I, if, if, if y'all really want to know who I really resonate with, I think Gandhi is one of my <laughs> biggest imp- inspiration. When you're talking like to be so humble. And and when you put it in perspective, this dude, I mean, this man has influenced millions, right? Just millions of people to turn a whole country around. Think about that. Turn the whole country around. And I'm not knocking all the other greats uh, throughout history that has done these particular certain resonation of energy that has been able to change the format of a country, of a mindset, of a people, right? Because everything is spiritual. We tend to get it convoluted with religion. Even though religion has its great points, right? But it's certain things I think you got to take to heart. And then it's certain things that you got to take with a grain of salt, my brothers and sisters. Because life is the lesson. Oh boy. Y'all are not feeling me. And hopefully the mic... Hopefully everything's resonating with you right now because I'm talking to you, bro. I'm talking to you, sis. I know y'all paying attention to me. I know y'all hear me because I'm getting crazy results, right? I'm getting crazy results, but there's no ego here. That's another thing. There's no ego here, but at the same time, you got to have some courage. You got to have some, you got to have the brain, my brothers and sisters. If I only had a brain, (laughs) Wizard of Oz. I'm always dropping jewels. Think about this. The jewels that are actually going to open the mind. That takes you to a whole nother existence. To becoming the best version of you in this existence. Right? Those of you who have children. You have to be the beacon. Right? You don't have a choice. You decided to bring this entity Within this dimension. Now we know this dimension is not all heaven. All gravy. It's going to be some challenges brothers and sisters. That's the whole point. Challenges. Right? Challenging of your body. Challenging of your mind. Challenging of your finances. Being more disciplined. With how you're spending your money. Or not spending your money. On certain things that are not benefiting. You or others. On a significant level, period, on a significant level. What do I mean by a significant level? I'm talking about life changing. Where people are coming to you and saying, bruh, what you said or what you wrote definitely influenced me. Definitely have taken my mind or my understanding to another level. Look, we got to become thinkers again. See, the 90s, that was what's so cool about the prior to going into the 2000s. It was more of our media that has controlled our environments, uh, controlled our society. And you have, this is another thing, with these influences, you have to be very careful in what you actually take from them, right? Or use from them. Because a lot of these influencers, and I'm sure, don't take me wrong, I know I'm an influencer, I don't have a problem with that. At the same time, I do have a problem with not being genuine, being upfront, being real with people, right? Because it's a lot of fake phony motherfuckers out here, period. A bunch of them. I, and I'm talking about cats that are so big where you're like, how the hell is this really existing? Why is this even a problem? Right. And I want to what brings that to mind is this Kanye West scenario. Now, I'm not a big fan of Kanye West. Right. 
he, he makes some good music here and there. You know what I'm saying? I mean, he's great. He's, you know, whatever the case may be, however you want to calculate that. That's another thing, too. It's like, look, you don't worship these particular people. Then you want to get upset about how they're thinking or what's going on in their mind. All he's doing is expressing what he feels. Right. But why is that? have anything to do with you or how you run your business or how you run your situation. Even like, don't take me wrong. I, I don't hate nobody. I mean, don't take, I hate certain actions that maybe that person may do. <laughs> right. But I don't hate nobody. This is the thing too. Even we know, and we know this, this is the funny thing. We know this anytime a, a black African American, however you want to phrase the bullshit, the status of so-called African-Americans, black folks, whatever, Nakush, however you want to look at it, right? This is the understanding. First and foremost, now we know, and we've been knowing this from day one within this country. We know this country was built on a fabric of not truth, right? Not truth. And maybe you, you might want to debate me on that about the forefathers, what they wanted and this and that. Yeah, they were straight slave owners, too. If you want to go there, we can go there. Right. But that doesn't have nothing to that really doesn't have anything to do with our status in today's mindset, because a lot of black folks are fucked up. Let's if you want to go the nigga, if you really want to get down, the nigga is fucked up, bruh. Period. Hands down. And and how we're navigating the shit. Because we're looking to master. Right? We're looking to a master. We're looking for somebody that's been manipulating you. That's been putting you in a situation where you're not going to grow, brothers and sisters. And I'm not just talking to black folks. I'm talking to everybody. <laughs> everybody. Right? Think about it. Uh, all history, history shows it. What? The 14th Amendment brought you down to citizenship, brought you so-called down to citizenship. Go look that term up. And stop buying, buying the bullshit. Oh, ATV, RT, A, A for V and all this other bullshit we got going on. Look, it has been a society that has been established. Obviously, they want to keep you deaf, dumb and blind. And stupid. We want to put that in the in the category because the last two, the last 20 some years, our country, this society, United States of I don't know, has become stupider. If that's a word, you can check me on that. Whatever the case may be. Oh, get your vocab up. <laughs> more ignorant, more dumber. When you have a society that don't. Look, when you have a society that can't make a decision, a quick decision of understanding who, what, when, where, why, and how, it's a problem, brothers and sisters. And everything is not linear either. You feel me? Everything is not linear. Oh, this happens, so I'm going to do this. This happens, I'm going to do that. No, it's not even linear. That's what's so cool about reevaluating your life, reevaluating your values, reevaluating your ethics, reevaluating your morals, reevaluating your personality and the psychology that we're dealing with on a daily basis. What are you thinking about right now? It better be what I'm talking about, right? Understanding who you are, understanding to becoming the best version of you on a positive level. Look, it's so funny, too, because Kanye West, he's looking for permission. I, I haven't heard nobody say this. It's been a few people that have been bypassing it. But Kanye West, bro, if you even listen to this podcast show or get a chance to listen to or somebody click you in or whatever the case may be. stop asking for permission p please bruh stop asking for permission you got 6.7 billion dollars and you acting like you, you you acting like you still in the hood you don't even the funny thing is even if look y'all can criticize me y'all can say whatever the fuck y'all want right period points play yeah the jews is running the motherfucking show they've been running the show for a long time now you know what I'm saying? They was running the show during the y'all know they was running the show during the World War II. 
And then they then they the funny thing is, see, this is the difference with so-called white folks and black folks. The difference is they preserve white folks preserve their history. That's the difference. They preserve their history. (laughs) Black folks, we don't preserve our history. We go around the bullshit and listen to a white man that's telling us about our history. Oh, shit. About what you can do, how you can do. And it's funny, too, even like reading uh, self-help books, all of most of the self-help books, keep it 100 with y'all and keep it right on. I'm going to hit the knob. Most of them are white (laughs) or Indian. Right. When you really look at self-development, personal development, and don't take me wrong, we do get our brothers that's coming up, you know, E.T., the preacher, uh, hip hop preacher, Les Brown. You know, and many other brothers and sisters out, out there that's influencing brothers and sisters to get on a positive mindset. But one of the things is this. You get you got people who who claim they're the God or claim they're the goddess and got they're really fucked up. Psycholo- their psychology is really fucked up because it's not about relations. It's not about communicating. It's not about really listening to what's going on in the heart, what's going on in the soul. You feel me? So, Kanye, please stop the madness. Fuck what everybody else is thinking. You shouldn't even give a fuck about that. The thing you should be thinking about is how can I produce more value in the community that I'm living in or in the communities all around this motherfucking world? Not even the world, but in your the state shit. United States is so fucked up, brothers and sisters. We gone, bruh. No work ethic, no mindset of getting, being on on a positive level. All this violence, you know, we promote the violence, TikTok violence, Instagram violence, Facebook violence. And then we're wondering why people are acting a fool. Your child is off the chain. Children is really gone. They're just gone. Yeah, you might have a few exceptional, overcome some things, take it to a positive level. I'm not knocking that. But at the same time, wake the hell up, please. Wake the hell up. It's time to reevaluate your life. Time to put things in place that is actually going to benefit you and yours. Right? Get self-sustained. Get off this. Get off these. Man, get off the grid. Period. Get off the grid. Start thinking about getting off the grid. Getting in a, not fuck a survival, but living life. Living a full life. Living the life you truly want to live. Write them goals down. Write them outcomes down. And brothers and sisters, make it outrageous. Make it outrageous. I'm going to become a billionaire. I keep telling y'all that. I'm going to become a billionaire. But at the same time, I'm going to be a billionaire that has value, that is giving value to the people. Right? Look, we talk about Thomas Jefferson. Think about this. This dude was one of the founding fathers. Right? Right? Put it in place and created a whole nother environment when you think about it. He wasn't all good and gravy, kind of like Rockefeller. None of these guys was straight good and gravy. But at the same time, look at the impact. When you're changing a whole structure, a whole society, think about that, brothers and sisters. You have that ability. You have that skill. You just haven't awakened it yet. If you don't know, this is episode 140. You are the gym podcast show live and direct. 140. Talking about reevaluation. Reevaluating your life. We got a new year coming. And I know y'all hear me. And I know y'all feel me. But at the same time, look, opportunity is knocking at your door. Let me repeat that. Opportunity is knocking at your door daily. And maybe I may be that so-called spiritual one, the one to open the mind, to open the soul, to open the body, to open the financial abundance, right? Reevaluating your life. Reevaluating my life. Moving forward. 
Learn from the past mistakes. These are, this is literally what I do. (laughs) Reflection. That's why I haven't really been um, doing a lot of podcast shows. I've been doing a lot of writing. Like I said, I got a new book coming out in March 2023. Confessions of the Mind of an Athlete. Overcoming Resilience. And it's based on principles. A few principles that you're very familiar with. You just don't know that is knocking on your door. Hmm. Value has been very interesting. Now today as a society has been getting better to be, be able to create unlimited income with avenues that are there presented knocking at the door knocking at your door right there they exist and maybe look maybe you may have to move to a different environment maybe you have to reevaluate your relationships with your significant other you feel me maybe you have to change job environments You feel me? Maybe that habits you're doing are not giving you the benefits that you're truly looking forward to. One must understand. Shout out to musical artists or artists in general. I would like to say this. And maybe... This may not be uh, so good for you. But at the same time, artists, why why do you even care what others think? Because it shouldn't even be that mindset if you're a true artist, a true artist to yourself. It's not about the money. It's not about all the fame and fortune, right? It's not. It's really not about that. It's really about your soul, your spirit, how it resonates, how it's becoming better and better each and every day, each and every second. One must take ownership. That's what I'm talking to the artist. Take ownership, take responsibility, take accountability for what you have displayed or what you have presented to the world. Always been that type of artist. I don't care what him, hey, they say. Even with the podcast shows and all the other stuff I do. You know what I'm saying? And and I don't mean stuff, but my whole point is getting the energy out. Getting that particular energy out. Expressing it. Eventually, after I die, I'm sure I'll become crazy. Billions and crazy. It it, it really don't even matter. It really don't matter, right? Because death is an illusion, my brothers and sisters. Death is an illusion. You die every day. When you think about it, you die every day. And you live every day when you want to live every day. Stop allowing people to make you feel a type of way. Kanye. And I say Kanye because a lot of people, a lot of you know who Kanye West is. Even though a lot of y'all probably don't give a fuck about Kanye, like myself. I'm not a big fan, but like I said before, it's an understanding. He's an artist, right? So artists is going to do what they're going to do. Regardless. I mean, you we can debate Tupac. We can debate all these different artists we have seen over the years, right? Even these little Nas and X and all these other bullshit artists that really don't have all they're doing is satisfying. It's the fast gratification model, like I talked about in my blog. It's instant gratification. But see, nothing's appreciated because nothing's earned, my brothers and sisters. Do you really think Kanye earned that money? When you're selling $300 shoes, ugly ass shoes at that. What's the, I mean, and I I get, don't take me wrong. I get black folks. We we, we definitely support our people. There is no problem with that. The problem is we we need to reevaluate the situation and start getting independent. Truly independent. Not relying on Gap and some fucking ass Adidas. 
you know, and don't take me wrong. I do wear their shit every once in a while. I, I don't even think I even got on no Adidas. <laughs> Keep it real with you. And I'm not knocking it. But at the same time, let's look at the, the root. Let's look at the root to these issues. Right. Kanye, you got all the money now. You can start your own distribution, sales. Right. Merchandising. All that stuff is given to us, especially in the black community. We got millions upon millions. We spend all these. We spend probably a billion dollars just in some bullshit brands that we don't own. Oh, boy. And it's presented all over the place, especially on YouTube and all the rest of these Instagrams and everybody else. What's that brother Charleston or something? I don't even Charleston White, whatever the brother is. Shout out to you. Much respect because I think it's needed. That's definitely needed because he's the, the hip hop industry or in general what the hip hop fabric is today. We don't even know what the fuck that is. Talking about is opening up people's mind. No, you go to pretty much all the neighborhoods out here got some kind of criminal activity. It may be micromanaged due to the <laughs> higher elite one percent. <laughs> Where you ain't got too many issues going on. But even though it's uh, financial. What is called blue collar. (laughs) Through the NASDAQ. Right. Through the stocks and bonds. Wolf of Wall Street. At its finest. We're going to hear that here shortly. Get ready for the, the more bullshit coming on. Pfizer and all the rest of these crooks. You saying this brother up here crying clowning. But look, this is the whole point of reevaluation, right? Getting out of dis-ease and get into the health, get into homostasis state of mind, body, soul, financially, mentally, spiritually. You feel me? Homostasis. Balance. Balance do exist. Let me get that out there. Balance do exist. It's all about, in other words, you got to start saying no to the bullshit. Because it's a lot of bullshit. It's a lot of manipulation. Even your jobs, brothers and sisters. Your jobs got a lot of bullshit going on. A lot of bullshit. And it's funny because I always ask them. I say, are you testing my sanity? And that's what these jobs are doing. They're testing your sanity. How much more pressure can they put on you and take you out of your element daily? And then they cause in all kinds of drama. They don't even understand. Relationships all fucked up. You don't even know how to relate to your significant other. But then you wonder why shit is happening like it is. Right? Because there's no balance. There's no balance. You're not taught anything. You're not even taught finances. Even though it's a lot of opportunities on YouTube. A lot of opportunities on Instagram where people are educating you to be financial literate. You know. But it's what you take. It's what you gain. Right? Even with, you know, exercises. Look, I'm going to say it again. And I've been saying this for a long time. You are the GM podcast show. Look, y'all fitness influencers with this bullshit, these bullshit exercises. Please stop the madness. Then you wonder why people, they're doing all this dumbass. Okay, let me take my pre-workout before I enter or I'm in the gym. I'm going to take my pre-workout right there on the. What happened to etiquette? Right. What happened to etiquette? We don't even get that. Ed- you don't even see that no more. What's going on? No, no gym etiquette. Just shit. People doing all kinds of stupid shit. Don't even know how to use the machine and then got the nerve to talk about they getting gains and this and that. And then you're wondering why they don't last long in the gym. Ask the fucking question. That's another thing, too. It's like even this youth, even the older ones, ask questions. If you don't know what you're doing, ask the question. Hence, 20-minute free discovery session. And many other things we got going here. But it's all about a reality check. It's about a reality understanding. Let's get logic here. Let's get, well, yeah, let's get logic here. Let's start thinking critically. How can I go about this better? How can I benefit from this particular task? What is it going to add? How is it going to add? Can I delegate this? These are the questions you should be asking yourself daily. (laughs) Literally daily. How much am I worth? 
Can I get my value up more instead of being just a piss on? They just pee on me every day. Don't have no kind of no, 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 not brave, no courage, no ownership. I just want to be peed on. I just want to be a slave. That's what you're saying. I just want to be a slave. And that's what um, Kanye West is clear to me. He just want to be a slave. I think he want to get back to a normal life, if you want to call it normal. You know, and he mentioned it, too. And it's funny, too, for everybody. Ah, oh, now. Yeah, he sacrificed his mom. All these motherfuckers are sacrificing somebody. Dr. Dre, his son. You know, Eminem. You see what happened to him, his best friend. You know, 50 Cent. Look at his son situation. Just egos. I'm th- Bruh, sisters, egos. Just for the money. If it is just for the money. I don't even know what it is. Tupac was hitting it up. Fame and fortune. Go listen to that. Go Just go take some time to go listen to some Tupac albums. Period. Point blank. He was educating you about the whole game in general. Once upon a time, Ice Cube was doing it, but he's no longer doing that shit. He's so caught up in the glamour. <laughs> Making sure he want to get a star put in Hollywood and all this other dumb shit. Will Smith, he did it too. After after the slapping, and I, and I agree with... Uh, um, Mike, not Mike Epps, Cat Williams. I agree with Cat Williams. It was all a setup. A big old setup. These dudes know what they're doing. These white folks know what they're doing too. This high elite who's controlling these media, mass media. They know exactly what they're doing to keep people on the edge. Keep people falling the fuck off every, when they think they get ahead of the game, they end up falling right off. Jordan, Michael Jordan too. We don't talk about that one. His daddy, Bill Cosby. Come on, let's let's. It's so many people, so many of these artists that we put on these pedestals that we don't really pay attention. Jay Z too, even though he's a he's a Sagittarius, but I don't like him. <laughs> I don't like him. Just his attitude, because it seemed like he 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 shit on the people who's actually giving him opportunity. Gave him opportunity. Let me say it like that. Gave him the opportunity to be where he is today. Him and uh, Beyonce's. Beyonce's. <laughs> but y'all not feeling me. Y'all bear with me 37 minutes in. So I just want you to take this heed. I hear some takeaways I want you to take away. I want you to reevaluate here in the next, the next two days. Or the next hour. Take the next hour. Or here in the next couple of days. Take some time. To sit down. And reevaluate. Your values. Your ethics. Your morals. And your personality. And see what result you get. See what's going on in that mind. Body. Soul. And financially. Because it's like we always want to play catch up. That's the funny thing. We're all playing catch up. And it's time to stop playing catch up. And I think that was the thing about the COVID 2020. Stop the madness. Hold up. See what's important in your life. Oh, family. Because it was a lot of great things going on with the family unit. You finally get to understand what your child is about. Your mate, your significant other. Because you spend so many hours with them, right? 2020 now is like oh hell no because then you have the opposite all the suicide hey we're social creatures accept that that's part of humanity that's part of being human the human family the energy go check the energy so take some time i would say about 45 to an hour. Take some time for yourself. Reevaluate. Ask the question. What am I here for? What is my purpose? What are my values? What are my ethics? What are my morals? What is my personality like? In some cases, you can ask personal friends, family members to see what they think about you as well. And you can evaluate that. Bring that to the table for your thinking, for your reflection. 
And like I said, if you don't know, now you know. 140, episode 140. You are the GM Podcast Show with your host, the Modern Monk. I want you to take this time for yourself and reflect. We're out. Hotel. Are you avoiding the fun or reducing your income because you're afraid to be in public? Not because you're insociable or because you're sickly, but because you believe that you could become a victim of a virus? Dr. Moreno, the creator of Method Moreno, simplifies terms associated with COVID and diseases induced by vaccines while showing proven methods that enable you to strengthen your immunity, reverse the conditions originating after vaccines, and interpret the repetitive words of media with confidence. Release your fears by becoming more knowledgeable with How to Minimize Dis-Ease Enhanced by Vaccine Association. We interrupt our program to bring you this important message.